students in this question we are given the following information so let us read the question first in a murder investigation a corpse was found by a detective at exactly 8 p.m. being alert the detective measured and found the body temperature to be 70 degrees it's not actually centigrade it's Fahrenheit two hours later the detective measured the body temperature again and found it to be uh, 60 degrees Fahrenheit or 60 F if the room temperature is 50 degrees F Fahrenheit and the body temperature is 98.6 find the time the murder has occurred we are also given log of 2.43 is 0 0.88789 and log of 0 0.5 as negative 0 0.69315 so let us do this question now foremost we would have to obtain the required formula so you can write that down required formula is we will be using the Newton's Newton's law of cooling so according to this formula we have got dt divided by dt is equal to k times t negative 50 where t is the temperature of the body at any time small t okay so that is very vital and k is the constant okay now the question is we would have to use this and then find the time at which the murder was committed okay so let me take this as one so rewriting one we get rewriting one we get so what do we get so what i'm going to do is i'm going to place dt i'm going to move this down so it's going to be t negative 50 is equal to k times dt so integrating both sides we get so what do we get when we integrate both sides this is integral this is integral this is going to be ln of t negative 5, 0, 50. Now this is going to be k times t. We need to place an arbitrary constant c, but whenever we have application problems in differential equations, we place ln c as the arbitrary constant. I would move this to the left, so that would give me ln of t negative 5, 0 negative ln of c is equal to k times t now we know a formula that ln a negative ln b is ln of a divided by b we know this so by that formula this is ln of t negative 5 0 divided by c is equal to k times t we also know a formula that ln a if it is equal to b this has a base e so this would mean a is equal to e raised to the power b. So by these two formula, I can rewrite this as t negative 5, 0 divided by c is equal to e raised to the power of k times t. If I were to move the c to the right, so this is going to be t negative 5, 0 is equal to c times e raised to the power k times t. So this is what I've got. Now, we are given the following information. The body temperature has been found to be a 70 F when at the initial time, okay, that was the first time the detective finds the murder and records the temperature of the body and he finds it to be a 70 F, 70 F and that time is the first time, right? So, we take that value of small t to be a zero. So, if I were to take this as 2, so therefore 2 is rewritten as is going to be 70 negative 50 is equal to C times E raised to the power K times 0. This is going to be equal to 1. So, C will be 70 negative 50 that is going to be 20. So, I can rewrite 2. So, therefore 
Q is rewritten now. Okay, how do we write two? T negative fifty is equal to C is twenty. So twenty times to e raised to the power k times t. So this is my new equation. That's my three. So we would be using this to solve the question. Now we have to use the next information. The next information is t is sixty, and the small values. Uh, the t, the value for small t is two. That means when the temperature of the body reaches sixty F, and it does so after two hours. Okay, so that is the meaning of this. Now we got to substitute this. So when we so when we substitute t is equal to sixty and small t is equal to two, the equation three takes the following form. So this is going to be sixty negative fifty is equal to twenty times e raised to the power two times k. This is going to be ten is equal to twenty e raised to the power two times k. This is ten divided by twenty is equal to e raised to the power two k. Now this would clearly mean that e raised to the power two k is equal to one over two. Now what we are going to do is we are going to be taking ln both sides, taking ln both sides. Now why am I using ln always? Because when I use ln, the base is e, and because all of these questions they involve e, only when the base is e, I can clearly conclude that ln e to the base e is equal to one. I want to use this fact. That is the reason I am always using ln. Ln is nothing but natural logarithm. So have that in mind. So because I've got e raised to the power two k is equal to one over two, I'm going to take ln both sides. So this would give me ln e raised to the power two k is equal to ln one over two. This is two k times ln e is equal to ln one over two. Now since ln e is equal to one, this is going to be rewritten as. 2k is equal to ln 1 over 2, so therefore k is equal to 1 over 2 times ln 1 over 2. So this is the value of k. Now, having obtained the value of k, we are going to be using this system again. So therefore, 3 can now be rewritten as t negative 50 is equal to 20 times e raised to the power. The value of k is 1 over 2 ln 1 over 2 times t. So let me rewrite it in a clear manner. So this is t moving 50 to the other side. This is t is equal to 50, positive 20 times e raised to the power 1 over 2 times ln 1 over 2. Okay, times t. So this is the way I've got. Now I have already told you in the previous class. If you have something like this, a raised to the power m n, I can rewrite this as a raised to the power m. Raised to the power n. Okay, have that in mind. I can I can use this concept. So now I've got e raised to the power one over two times ln one over two. Okay, times t. This is all what I've got. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this as e raised to the power one over two ln one over two, and that is raised to the power t. I'm going to write it like this. Now this is equal to Now you have to know that if I have a times ln b, I can write this as ln b raised to the power a. I can write it like this. So this is equal to. I can rewrite this as e raised to the power ln one over two raised to the power one over two. Of course, this is entire thing is raised to the power t. Okay. Now you should know that e and ln they get cancelled. So when they get cancelled, this is going to be one over two. Raised to the power one over two, which is raised to the power t, which can be rewritten as one over two raised to the power of t over two. So this is what I I get when I use the concepts which I've studied, and upon simplification leads me to. So I'm going to take this value and substitute it here. So therefore, my t is going to be equal to fifty positive twenty times. This value has to go in here. So one over two, one over two is raised to the power of t over two.
So this is what I get. So let me name it as 4. Now we are required to find, find small t, the time t, small t, when the body temperature is 98.6. This is what we need to achieve. Okay, what is the value of t? Now, substituting, okay, the value of t here, we would get, so therefore, 4 can now be rewritten as 98.6 is equal to 50 is equal to 20 times 1 over 2 raised to the power t over 2. I, this is actually positive, I move 50 to the left, so that would give me 98.6 negative 50 is equal to 20 times 1 over 2 raised to the power t over 2. Now this is going to be 98.6 minus 50. That's going to be 48.6. Okay. And that is equal to 20 times 1 over 2 raised to the power t over 2. So this is what I have got. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to move this to the left and that would mean I've got 48.6 divided by 20 is equal to 1 over 2 raised to the power t over 2. So this is what I get. Now I have to find the value of t. So the only way it's possible is taking ln both sides. Okay, taking ln both sides. Now, the, the point is that since we have been given the value for log, okay, L-O-G, what I'm doing, what I'm going to do, and there is no E here, so it's okay that we take log on both sides. So, taking log both sides, this is going to be log of 48.6 divided by 20. This is equal to log of 1 over 2 raised to the power T over 2. And this can be rewritten as t over 2 times log 1 over 2. Why am I able to do this? Because log a raised to the power b is going to be b times log a. Okay, because of that fact. Now, on the left, I've got log 48.6 divided by 20. I'm going to use this space here. So... This is rewritten. See, what I'm going to do, I'm going to push this down. So, this is going to be log 48.6 divided by 20 divided by log 1 over 2. On the left, I get t over 2. Now, we need, we need only t. So, therefore, t is going to be, therefore, t is going to be, move this to, to the left. So, it's going to be 2 times log of 48.6 divided by 20 divided by log of over 2. This is what I get. Okay, this is 48.6. Okay. Now, if you calculate this, the value will be approximately 2.56. Of course, you will have to place a negative sign. There will be a negative sign. If you were to evaluate this upon evaluation, you will get that value. Now, the question is, what is the meaning of this? What is the meaning of this? So, you will have to remove this T. This is actually 2.56 hours negative. So, that means the murder would have taken place approximately the time minus this hours. The question, so this is the solution for this question. So the value of T is 2.56 with a negative sign. So that completes the solution for this question.